Hi guys, today we're going to review the RAV Power series of products. We have the 5200, 5600, and then we have this adapter thing. So many of you guys saw on Amazon, it's like, oh, this is cool. What, did, what are these things used for? And basically, I'm here to explain all that. Basically, these things are power banks. So basically, it's one large battery to, say, charge or recharge your phone, tablet, or anything you need. And this is just an adapter. All right, so that's pretty cool. So what do they do? What are the features? All right, let's get back to this one first. This one is the RAF Power, Power USB charger. Basically, it says it's an adapter. When you plug it in to your computer or laptop, it has a USB port here. It connects to USB. So you might think, hey, why do I need this? I have a USB port already, why don't I just connect directly to the USB port? Why do I need an adapter? Well, uh, most devices, once you plug it into a computer, computer will try to identify it, and then I believe all the USB drives, the USB ports are capped at, uh, I believe, 500 milliamps. So you don't get the full charge. And you might get some interference, like, for example, you want to just charge your iPhone, you don't want to sync it, you don't want to you know, open up iTunes, you don't want to do all that stuff. Well, unless you set it that way, it won't really do that. Windows will, by default, or even iOS by default, will just you know, open the product or at least see what it is, what's attached to it, and stuff like that. With this adapter, there's a mode. This button on top, you click it, and it changes the mode and basically you could, when you turn it on to just charge mode you get a little light I believe it's a red light it will basically just charge and it will try to give you as much amps as the device needs and that the computer will allow now I wouldn't recommend connecting this to a, say a USB toaster or a USB hot pot or a USB fondue kit you know that might draw, draw a little bit too much amps but for your, you know, iPod, iPad, iPhone, you know, or cell phone, it's 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 pretty decent. For the price, right now it's like about eight dollars. It's to me it's a little much because for eight dollars you could just buy a USB wall plug and just connect it direct your devices directly to the wall. Uh, it's it's nice to have if you know it's free or promotion, which they they are having right now. If you buy two battery pack they give you they throw this in for free now what does it come with well it comes with this it comes with a little lanyard here it comes with a little that other than that unless you really 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 gotta have it I think it's just like an extra toy a uh, more reasonable price will probably be like about maybe five dollars you know that would be in a more reasonable price range than like seven eight dollars now here we have the power banks now with these things they basically connect together um, rechargeable uh, Samsung batteries and they link them together and they package it into a small little case Let's see RAV power and here are the status lights you can see basically what's the charge on the device they all come with adapters a lot of different kind of adapters and then two USB cables underneath those are for uh, charging and recharging and it also comes with a felt bag right here and it's an instructions A nice little bead there to keep it together. Go. Now, the features of this thing basically, you could get like maybe six, seven hours of extra charge time for your like your for your iPod, iPad, and your phones. The iPad usually has like about 10 hours of runtime, so this will extend it for another six, seven hours. So here you can see it's fully charged, four status lights are on. 
this is where you can actually charge this is where it comes out this is actually a flashlight if you click it twice it turns on the flashlight I believe they said the flashlight will stay on for about 240 hours with no on a full charge not that you need it to stay on for 10 days but hey if you're lost in the wilderness or stuck in a cave, you know this this will be very very helpful. So how does this work? You may ask. Well, first you do you click it once to turn it on. If it detects that it's not connected to anything, nothing's drawing the power, it will automatically turn itself off, like that. You can also turn it turn it off by by holding the button down, I believe, for four seconds. It's all explained in, in the in the manual. We do. You could plug this straight to your device, like your iPhone or such. And back. So here we have it connected to my iPhone. Now, one thing to note is it doesn't actually come with the connector to iDevices. Actually, you have to use your own your own adapter. And the thing I actually don't like about this is that the adapter it comes with. To connect to the to connect this thing, actually, they don't give you any wall plug, so there's nothing to actually plug this thing into the wall. So you have to already have a wall charger in order to charge this. So uh, that's a big dis disappointment for me because, you know, say you don't have any i devices, you don't have anything, you just will get it from just got it straight out of the box. You can't really even use it. You can't charge it up because you don't have the wall wall adapter so actually the iPhone wall adapter produces about one amp of power uh, which is actually perfect to charge this up the the iPad actually produces a little bit over one I believe it's about two that's a little much it will charge it faster but you know it's not a, not a steady charge and it might overheat this 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 battery pack so that's my main complaint about this thing it would be nice if they actually included a wall adapter. This way you could plug this into the wall and charge it. But if you have this, you can technically plug, the, plug this into this and plug this in the computer and, and charge it. Now let's let's see a practical demonstration. Let's say your iPhone is out of power. You want to charge it. Oh, there you go. It's charging. Can't see from here, but it's very 100% power. So there's really no charge, no additional charge it needs. And also, once it senses this is full, it actually will turn itself off. Like what it, like what it did. So that's how easy it is to charge. Now, to charge this thing again, you know, no, no adapter. It would be great if it came with one, eh, but it didn't. So the average going price for these things, I believe, is about thirty dollars. You know, for thirty dollars, there are lots of other solutions for, for your power needs. But uh, this is pretty nice, very compact. Comes with fifty-two or f or fifty-six hundred milliamp hours, which is about six or seven hours for additional charge on your I I iPads, just to uh, gauge uh, charge. Or about, I would say, probably what would charge your iPhone for a day if you actually forget to charge it and such. All right, so this is Snow Doggy signing off.